Good afternoon. Welcome to Championship Saturday at the Atlantic Candlepin Singles Tour Semi Pro Division Finals between number 6 seed Danny Finn and number 2 seed Daniel Gachana. I'm Paul Green along with Justin Scally. Great to be with you all. Justin, brilliant, great match, great playoffs all year round. A lot of upsets, a lot of lower seeds winning it. Yeah, quite a yeah, quite a lot of quite a lot of brackets were busted, so to speak, on both on uh, both sides of the ledger. Yeah, uh, yeah. So between the two matches today, we got um, yeah, two higher seeds and two lower seeds. So today definitely proved the old ad is just have to just got to make the tournament, so to speak. And Jordan Britain's brackets are all busted all all series long. Now, did you pick a bracket law? Uh, no, I did not. <laughs> it's like March Madness. No, I did not. I don't. No, I don't do. I don't. I don't pick a bracket if I'm involved. Okay. Just to recap, uh, Nando Gachana won a thrilling match against Justin Linus, double strike in the eight and nine box to clinch it, and Danny Finn in the overtime thriller, along with uh, Jordan Britton. So let's pick up the bowlers right now. We'll talk to Nando Gachana first, or Danny Finn, whoever. Justin, you got Danny okay. Finn. Um, yeah, 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 there it works. Hey, Kamish, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How are you doing? I haven't bowled lately. Uh, up and down. Up and I, bowled, down. I bowled well at spare time. Didn't bowl well in my league, but we'll see. Off and on. Oh, so yeah, congrats on, oh yeah, congrats on the 10-stringer, by the way. Thank you. Uh, that was a big... Uh, I lost to uh, Corey with two triples, and I lost by two, so... Ooh. But that's all right. I throw 165 to get there, so I can't really complain too much. Yeah, so, uh, so how are you, how you feeling going into today? I would have been more nervous, but the fact that I'm bowling Fernando makes me a lot more confident. He's not somebody that I'm really afraid of as a bowler, so <laughs> he's not listening to me, so it's fine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he's not going to hear about this after the fact, no, is he? He'll, he'll watch it before. He'll watch it after. Or Blanca's somewhere yelling. Uh, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Blanca's so, probably watching it in the car yeah. on the way up. I, I'm waiting for his phone to go off. But no, it'll be a lot of fun either way. I like Fernando a lot, so yeah. win or lose, I'm just happy that we got this far and I get to bowl against somebody like Fernando. Yeah, I mean, Brian, great job running the league this year, by the way. Thank you so much. That means a lot. All right. Good luck today. Thank you. Okay. Danny Finn, the number six seed. His number two seed, Fernando Cachana. Thank you, Justin Scally. Fernando, Justin Line has had you on the ropes. You took you to the third string, the third box, get your first lead. You, you were trailing halfway through the fifth string. You were down. You needed the mark to win, and you got a double strike to win it in the, down the end. Yes, yes. At CPL. I was, one mark I was, I was slumping a little bit with the punch and all that. It's not the way I want to your thoughts on bowling Danny Finn tonight, this um, afternoon? No, you Justin had started up 17 for 20 in the head pin that match. When you get down like that, double digits, what is the mind? What do you do to adjust to keep getting distracted or you know changing your focus? I don't, I don't get any. I just straight focus on bowling, work on my game. That's it. I don't, I don't worry about anybody else. I'm doing. I just try to get my game. All right. All right, good luck today. Thank you. So it's five string, five blocks at a time. Usually during the season, it's two points for a win, one for tie, two for total, four, and none today. Total pinfall wins. If there's a tie, a one string roll up. Who will win the ACST Championship semifinals? Will it be number six seed Danny Finn or number two seed Nina Gachana? Let's find out. From Academy Lane's Haverhill, Mass. Justin Skelly on the play-by-play -play to start. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul Grant. All right. Danny Finn up first on lane 34. And up. All right. Off to the left. Both bowlers warmed up. Finished the warm-ups about 10, 15 minutes ago, so it might be a little, might be a little tight. Oh, it's outside there on the head pin. What a bit. Leaves the nine pin with a plank in front of it. Right where he had to be. He'll have to clean up for the ten. And a ten to start for Danny. We got Jordan Britton alongside today. How are we doing, buddy? Doing well. How are you? Good. So Danny's our sixth seed. We're taking on number two, Fernando. It's going to be an exciting match. Yep. Danny gets his wish and gets to go first. Fernando chose to uh, to go second. And uh, I know Danny likes to go first. So this yeah. works out for both guys. Right, so both bowlers get what they want. As Danny goes a little thin there on the 1-2 side. Leaves a 6-10. And he's got it. Right on it. Spare in the second for Danny. And that would sat pretty. 
Just a point, Danny Finn was 51-75 and 75 the first nine weeks of the season, 90-36 and 36 in the back nine. It's been awesome in the playoffs. Uh, quite the turnaround. And Danny over on the 3-5 pocket there. Leaves a full horseman left in the, in the 10. That's a 5 fill, 25 through 2. He's got that piece of wood to help carry the 7. See if he can get outside the, uh, the head pin there, make it go. Yeah, ooh, chops out just the two pin. I was gonna say he's got a nice piece of wood there between the four and the seven, but it's not gonna, not gonna make a difference as far as ranking, running the horseman down goes. No, nope, gets the sure two in the corner for an eight box, thirty-three through three. Good play there. Get his. Well, Danny had a 105, 105 average in league play this year. That's it. So he ended the season going seven weeks in a row over his average and 10 out of the last 11. Wow, that's pretty impressive. That speaks to his, uh, his, his charge up the standings. As Danny throws a great ball there, he drops nine, leaves the six pin. Interesting thing, the division, all four, Bob Lee, Rick Hamrowski, Danny Finn, and Dan Gothier, all led the division at one point during the year. Wow. Oh, is it not what you wanted there. Danny misses the six pin. And oh, he misses them. Oh, oh, hopefully that didn't hit anything. It's a nine box, 42 through four. He's got a box left. All right. Overall, personal high single, 175. High triple, 382. High five of 615. And Danny with what we call in the business an always ball. Missed the single, then comes back and drops nine on the next ball. Five pin a little easier to make, and he's got it. Right in the face. So Danny Finn with two marks in the first half. He sits down, 52 in the ball. Now stepping back up, the Northern the Northern Conference champion, Fernando Gacharna. He jumps up on lane 34 here at Academy Lanes. He previously mentioned he was the two seed in the Northern Conference this year with a record of 181 and 71. With a league average this year of 110, he will be jumping up to the pro division. Uh, what was currently the pro division, we'll be renaming Class A, B, and C next year. As ooh, a little bit of a pitch out there. He takes out just a seven pin. He has an overall high single of 172, high triple of 412, and yeah, high triple of 412. Is a league average? Yeah, league average. As I mentioned, a league average this year of of 110. So he is hoping to graduate from the semi-pro division in style with the championship. And up oh, and a little bit closer, take out just the four pin. The interesting thing is a 106 league ball up in the ACST he's 110. That's amazing. So the competition helps your bowling. Yep, that is correct. Plus then his 106 is prop is uh 106 is out of cent out of Central Park, so that 110 includes scores from faster houses too. Probably more of a true average. Tough six there, but I think we say in the game, every great string starts with a six. Yeah, that's right. See if he can come back here. I think he's having a little bit of trouble with the slide. His first two kind of went up to, to recheck himself. Uh, so see if he can correct that here. Yeah, I noticed that he was uh, sticking a little bit. As Nando looks to uh, jump back jump back up top here. Look to, look to bounce back. And here that certainly is. looks a lot better. And that's a strike in the second. That's a way to correct. That is how you bounce back. His ACST high five this year was 609. Also at a 601. Yeah, I mean even me, I only had I think I only went over 600 once this year. I only went over 600 once this year. I had a bunch in the 590s, but well, that's as high as I got. Mason's a tough house when you were bowling there it, too. It was. I mean, I don't know where he threw those, but Central Park is no slouch either. Yep. All right, dive in the left corner, got three. Looked like he was going to chop out just a four pin there for a second. But he manages to carry the back two, so he gets three on the first ball. If you didn't see his match against Justin Line, he's got to watch it on Spread Eagle Productions. Oh, looking for a friendly, all right, a little friendly bounce there. All right, gets seven on the fill, not too bad. All right, looks like clean up, only a nine, so. Nando's at 32 through 3. Down 1 through completed boxes. Up against the 9 nine and a spare the next 2. Fernando's 
Fernando here looking he for a, a double strike count. in the eighth and ninth box to clinch here. it over uh, Justin Lainez. Uh, Justin gave him all he, ha all he had. All right, off to the left here, drops five. He's got the one, three, four, seven, and nine. No word to help. He didn't lead at all in that match with the third string against Justin Lainez. Wow. All right, all right, he picks up just the three. I'll look to clean up. We'll see which way he goes. A bit of a risk reward shot here on the third ball. And oh, he, he tries to get them all and gets three for a nine box, so 41 through 41 through four. Got to respect the confident play there. Am I good right here? Yeah, your distance is fine. I want that very small between your microphone. Oh, 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 oh! I see. Okay. It's a very live mic. Fernando down one in the string to this point, but opposite of spare from Danny in the fifth. Gonna need one, put the pressure. As Fernando a little thin on the one three. Got two pins wobble and they don't want to go. That wood zone sitting the, bad. If you can get on the left two, side of the two, four, seven, in there. Oh, two four seven eight on the left. Ten on the right. Try to send that two pin over. Oh, gets yeah. everything on the left side. And just the ten. That snuck just behind. Great bid there. So, so Danny Finn's going to have the lead at the half, plus whatever he gets on the spill ball, so a 9 for Nando. So he's got a 50 half. I'll uh, turn things over to Paul Grant. Thank you, Justin Scott. Great job, as always. So it's two pin lead for Danny Finn, the number six seed, plus a bonus ball as they switch over to lean 33. You're watching the Atlantic Hamilton Singles Tour Championship match from Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass, semi four division. After this match, with a separate broadcast, the Pro Division Finals, number one seed Justin Waters against number seven seed Matt Susi, the 5 7 10 specialist. Danny Finn in the bonus gets five as the diamond in the center plus the seven pin. 57 half leads by seven in the match. First to five from Averill. A pretty favorable break there off of that, off of that, uh, off of that miss. Houston Wood, I was going to go for the head pin there. Yeah, I think he was too. We got the one and the three. He gets a nine. 66 through six in the first of five from Academy Lanes. Check out the new restaurant and bar here, Academy Lanes. Beautiful restaurant. Full bar. Check it out here, Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Route 125, Main Street, Haverhill. Yeah, well, the upgrades they have done here are phenomenal. Putting the new bar in, the new side on the right. It's a beautiful house. I suppose. Favorites the chicken tenders and the pretzels. The chicken tenders and the fries are unreal. Danny off to the left. At least a four horseman right in the seven pin. See if he can cut it over. Nice bit. What a try. Got the horseman to go, but leads up the seven. The head pin, head pin hit the sidewall and went right around the seven pin. Didn't even touch it. Uh oh. Nine box, 75 through seven. Danny Finn again on fire the second half of the season. That's why you never give up in this game. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. He has come up clutch in the playoffs. I believe a 116 average just in his three playoff matches alone. Uh, so clutch bowling when he's needed it. Punch out the half whistle. My least favorite shot. Justin, what's your least favorite shot? My least favorite shot? I had a gutter ball. I <laughs> had a gutter ball. <laughs> Honestly, the 4 8. It's a generic 4 8 2 pinner. I have a, for whatever reason, for whatever reason, oh, I uh, have a tough time making it. Eric Brumberg couldn't believe it the first time I said that because we both hate, we both hate that uh, We both hate that shot. Good comeback in Finley's up the king pin, the 5 pin. This is for a 10. He gets it. 85 to 8 here in the first of five. Danny made a great bid on that half horse, and as always, he hit outside there, just a five pin would not carry. Great ball, though. See if he can replicate it here. Championship, championship Saturday, first of two matches today. Justin Waters, Matt Susi on deck, and the Pro Division Finals next. Finn, top to the right. Four. Horseman has the five in the back and the three to the right. Yeah, you, got that one you got that one out there a little bit. Probably rush the throw. Much better. It is. On the object pin, but too thin. Three, five, and a seven, two pieces of wood. How are you playing the wood here, Justin? Uh, on this one? I'm from 
that anything between this stripe and the three pitch should cover it. Like that, almost. What am I thinking? Well, he, you, does, he, he nuts it wouldn't go. It gets a nine. 85 to 8. He'll want to get a mark if he can to keep the pressure yeah. on, on Fernando Vespino because he's a, a dangerous bowler. Yeah, he'd do well to get a mark here. I think the best play for that one was actually on the strike. I think he had enough Leo up throw, but then. Yeah. Uh oh. Lemon drop, $1 no, for Candle Fist for Cancer. Keep the tally. That, well, that didn't take long. They're asking donations for Al Johnson's Candle Fist for Cancer. The fourth pin and the sixth for your first shot. You can Venmo it or go to Candle Fist number 4 cancer.com. Candle Fist 4 cancer.com. Pay it forward to a friend of family member if you can. Help support the great Candle Fist bowling community. Again, you're looking at the 2, 4, 7, and the 10. Each of the goal posts. In eight box, that'll be a 102 first string. Uh, not exactly what he wanted, but uh, does even then he, you know, even then he pin well. It still forces Fernando to get a mark, take the lead, go into the second. You both, Jordan, you both in the playoffs too. Was there? Do you feel pressure the first time in the playoff, the first match, or any any match at the beginning? as the nerves settle down after a while? Uh, they they do. I think the biggest thing, especially like right now, they're coming into a new house, both kind of just trying to find their footing and get settled, figure out how they're going to throw their ball, how the slide's going to work. We saw Nando trying to work it out all over the head pin there. Yeah, Gachana almost pulled it off. That's the two pin. But yeah, definitely definitely some nerves in play, definitely right off the bat, especially with a stage like this in the championship match. Definitely going to have some nerves, but they're uh, they're definitely working through it here. Fernando threw a great ball there. Looking comfortable. Not much room to work with here. Nails the first spare. In the face. 16 a ball through 6. 39 mile an hour on that heater. He is letting it fly. First of five strings here. Championship Saturday. ACST semifinal. Conference finals. semi four division. Paul Grant, Justin Scally, Bob Lee, and Jordan Britton with you live. Full house today. 44 lanes here. Cutting lane. Biggest house around. It is. West 48. The restaurant took out four. That's a good investment. Very much so. And that's a Paul Grant shot. Half west from a fill. Tough two, Phil. Danny Finn, early lead here in the first. Danny Finn's going to break there with that two, Phil. I tip me for the second shot in the hole. Going inside. Jordan, what's your least favorite shot? I say for this shot, I don't want to look at it. It's the inverted Worcester. I think this is a ball I don't want to get comfortable throwing. It's something flush on the two and the three pin. So if, if a, a, a shot I don't want to see on the deck, it's the inverted Worcester. Eight box for Fernando Gachana. I don't want to be able to make that. 70 through 7, even up in the string. Hope it gets a 102 first string. No points, though, in, obviously in the playoffs. Now, Justin, you've got a raw deal. Uh, Mason's close lemon stir, forced your player to move to Haverhill. Yes. He had a bowl of red hot Nate Lee's the hottest bowler probably at the time. Yeah, I, yeah, I caught a, yeah, I caught a tough break there, but no excuses. I mean this I mean this is my home house too, anyway, so so um no excuses. I didn't throw that I didn't throw that good of a ball that day. A yeah, double strike and a triple strike too, early on. Yeah, I didn't, after those first two strings I didn't do much after that. This is for a spare. Missed it to the right. Got one. Two pinnings only go about 51% for pro bowlers. Low 40s for semi-pro without wood. Stat provided by Spread Eagle Productions. It's a 10. It. Gentleman shot there. 80 through 8. Yeah, let's just say I think it felt, felt like I would have had a better shot of winning that match. Now, next year you'll be bowling academy, obviously, as well, right? I am not bowling in the ACSC next That's year. That's right, okay. Yep, I will be bowling. I, I am back in the Friday Pro League full-time. Good. What team are you going to be on? Academy one, right here. Awesome. You deserve to be in that league. Thank you. Very well it. deserved, Scaly. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well deserved. Your best year. Uh, one of. Recently, right? Yeah. Nine five I'd, first string. Yeah, I'd say yeah, top five year. It can't be my best. I didn't win anything big. I mean, my pro series trophy would beg to differ. So. Your Sunday, your Sunday monthly pro league next year, we won the second half. Yeah. We were huge. It's 65 more boxes in that first string to clinch it. Team and individual are a little different. Pichana oh. almost. 19 left up. He had a good team year, but individually, I mean, did a little, little better with tournaments. Like once the Pro Series season had ended, my Pro Series performance here just kind of confused, kind of dumbfounded me a little bit. But um, it's all right. See if this wood stays out of the way. 
Looks like it's going right, to say so he's got to be right on the pin here. All right, they'll be starting up before we know it. Wow, that was not a piece of wood. Yeah. Nine box, 89 to nine. Up against a 102 first string. And total pinfall is all that matters. No points here. During the 18 week regular season flex schedule, twice a month on average. Start in September, they get two points for a win, one for a tie, and two for total. To reset there. Could have been a good first ball, Justin. Yeah, a lot of wood in the deck. Correct. How would you play that wood anyway? <laughs> How would I play that? Uh, go up high on the front piece and drive it back. Jordan, your thoughts so far on the first string here? I mean, both guys just trying to settle in, it seems like. Definitely not uh, their biggest strings. I think either, both of them are going to come out not exactly thrilled with the performance in, uh, in game one. But plenty left, and uh, both guys kind of working out the kinks here. Made up in Chelsea, Mass. Goes the head pin. Oh. That pin we go. No, the right yeah. side holds up. Sixteen does not want to fall, so it doesn't. You will need a mark to take the lead going into the second. You'd be going the Tuesday Speed League this year too, right? Oh yeah, no, cha no change, no change there. I'm not giving that league up. Can I kick it over? Good try. Too full. Hit the object pin. Wouldn't carry. Nope. Too full. He's, he's definitely started to settle in, having a much better half as far as hitting his objects. Just a couple of tough breaks, a couple of tough sports. That'll work itself out. Nine box, 98 first, sorry, 98 first string for Fernando Cachana. So Danny Finn takes the first string by four points. Leads at 102.98. Four more to go. Championship Saturday, Academy Lane, Haverhill, Mass. ACST, semi-pro division. Back to Justin Scali. All right, thank you, Paul. The long 11-month grind ends today. I can't look at it anymore. Okay, there we go. It's been a fun season. This playoffs been really exhilarating, haven't they? Yeah, the playoffs were awesome. As a spectator, trying to watch, trying to watch as much of the matches as I possibly can. Catch them on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe for free while you're there. That's right. And Any change coming soon? That's right. I, I took the words right out of my mouth. Bob Lee and I alluded to at the money match two weeks ago that we will be changing the name of the YouTube channel at some point. And he's got the triangle on the right left. For his third ball. And he gets the 10. Nice out. The 10 to start for Danny. Jordan, can you share one of your favorite bowling moments in your career so far? Oh, gosh. Um, not the conference finals, obviously. No, no definitely not the conference <laughs> finals. Um, <laughs> Two sin balls. <laughs> <laughs> he got me. Oh man, that's good. Let's see Danny here. Oh, head pin. Oh, nice ball. Oh, good night. Man, that's right for Danny Finn. That's, that's my favorite moment in my young bowling career. Right? Good. I'm on. I'm on like three and a half, four hours sleep. So. Hey, you're doing you're great. Silly. You're doing great. Nobody works harder <laughs> in this game than ball. Got a little, uh, got a little hang time on that one, but uh, stay on line for the strike. What's the most strike you threw in a row, Justin? In a row? Yeah. Four. I have two four baggers. I have two four baggers, two triple nines. How about you, Jordan? Double nine, close save of God. Never thrown a triple. I've I threw a triple in a practice triple. before a championship match, and I tanked it. And oh, where we wanted to be. Danny goes a little, a little full on that one. The back pin does not carry. Nine ball on the strike, and he gets a ten. Danny, so Danny is still perfect through three boxes, 39 through three. As a bowler, does that help you settle down if you struggle in the first string and get a good start like that to help you settle down a absolutely, little bit? Absolutely, absolutely. How do you mentally adjust just when you're down in the match? How do you how do you reset? Uh, it's not the same. Everyone does it differently. Just, just gotta just try to not talk yourself out of it as it becomes head, head 36 game. 36 miles point. an hour. They're right down the middle of the plate for Danny. And it just becomes a head game at that point. You don't want to. You don't want to talk. You don't want to. You don't want to down talk yourself too much. At the same time, you got to try to keep yourself keep yourself even keel so you can get back in to try and refocus. Uh, Danny dropped nine on the first ball and he gets neither. That was the challenge the in the match against uh, Jordan Britton. Both had trouble hitting that single pin a lot. Yeah. That's the difference in the match. 
it goes, it's a lot of averages. That shows the difference, too, between the semi-pro level and the pro level. The pro level bowlers make a lot more single pins. Between 68 and 72%, semi-pro is around 60, 62. A little full day for Danny, tough split. Staying on the head pin, though. Danny had a 2-2 two two there, misses off to the right. Got the 3-4-7 left. First ball he threw in this half. Seven box, 55 half for Danny Pitt. He's up four in the match. Danny Kachana starting his first yeah. half here in the second yeah. string. Yeah, Danny definitely settled in. Definitely, definitely settled in better that half. He was on his, ob on his object pins a lot more often. Yeah, throwing a good ball. Yeah, so you, get, you definitely get your share of splits in this place, as Jordan, Jordan and I know all too well. <laughs> get my fair share around here, no question. Danny Finn, the co-host of the Approach Podcast, Jeremy Sion. And Fernando Gacharna gets back up. He started a second string over on lane 34. Over on the two pin. Gets a good, gets a good break there, drops seven. He's got the one, three, and the nine. Where his ball ended up, he's just probably about like a half inch more to the left. He's catching the head pin, he's got it. And he leaves just the head pin for the nine box. Standing up one early for completed boxes. Match rate's five right now for Danny Penn. All right. Plenty of time left. Oh, yeah. Second string of five from Academy Lanes. The ACST Championship Saturday. And Fernando off to the left to get over. Oh. Carried a couple extra, though. Don't know how the tank then fell, but he's got the one, three, and six left. And a piece of wood frozen on the six. Increase the odds of making the shot. But not if he doesn't hit the head. He's got that left to shoot at. What's the craziest shot you've made, Justin? Enjoyed. Craziest shot you've made. I think for me, Scally was on the call. The uh, the we'll call it the picket fence uh, at bogey against uh, Steve Reno. Seven eight nine ten. It was. No, I think it was. Uh, I think it was it the five, five six, six seven nine. Five, yeah, I think it was like some that. ridiculous array of pins. Like I was able to kick the six off the wall, and I, I just clipped both the five and the seven. So a little bit of luck, but we need that sometimes. And with, an, with another nine box there, 18 through two. Yeah, I'm gonna have to think about that one for a little bit. Not to put you on the spot. No, not at all. Not at all. Again, I'm limited to sleep. My mind gets a little crazy. Yeah. Like all, like usual. <laughs> on the two pin again. Got the cluster of six on the right hand side. Very fine shot on this one. Is it gonna go really full or really light? Or outside. He's going outside. And he gets nothing. Too far outside. You try to go on the outside of the pin or you try to go inside the one and the three there. I'm going to split them. But um this is one of those shots where because you get too much extra pins in the back, you have to like I'm saying you have to get Really full or really thin because if you split the one two perfectly, you're not going to carry the five pin. Oh boy. Tough four box. 22 3. So Danny just picked up 16 pins in those last two boxes. 17 in the string, 21 in the match. It's the lead for Danny Finn early on. So Danny was down against Justin Line, it's double digits, and came back. At the end, conference finals. Justin was part of two great matches. The first one against Chuck DeRoges. Oh, yes, he was. Probable half Worcester. Got a whole new appreciation for liking that shot. And then rolled a nine in the spare to clinch it by two pins. That was, that was an excellent finish. There it is. So, Fernando back on the head pin. First time this string. Got the 6'10 with a nice plank in front of it. It would sit in flat, really. Any piece of it that's in play should be good. Yep. Oh. 
I, that's the old announcer's curse. Yep. All on that one. I didn't say a word that time. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, he put that one right yeah, off just, the cap. Just caught the cap. Yeah, I, I was going to say, unfortunately, he caught it right off the cap. Now, see his body language right now. Is that, when you get like that, does that play with your mind sometimes? Use your focus sometimes? A little bit. Yeah, you don't like to see that. You don't like to see that body language. I mean, even if you show some frustration, the, the good ones, the good ones are better able, better able to uh, brush it aside and, and, and uh, bounce back. And Steve Watney here. I think you might want to try to catch the cap again. I love you, man. Yeah. I think if you can catch the left, left tip of that cap, you might be able to carry the ball. You don't get my butt light. I don't drink beer anyway. Yeah, I think you're right, Jordan. I think he wants to get on that left cap, like the ball into the five. I guess the ball. Yeah, he knew it. As soon as right out of the team, yep. he, he is definitely frustrated right now, as evident by that quick delivery on the third ball. So he's going to have to settle down quickly. This morning, 41 to 5. He's down 14 the string, 18 the match, halfway through the second string of five from Academy Lane to the Mask. You're watching the champ championship Saturday, the semi pro division finals. Number 60, Danny Finn on lane 33. Okay. And look at the one, two, eight behind the two pin, one piece of wood, six ten to the right. Bounce it. It goes! What a shot! I think it's going to be a lob at first. We threw that ball. Yeah, it was close. Wouldn't count it with a 10 foot lob line, but it's a spare. Yeah, yeah the lob line isn't exactly in force, in force these days. 65 and a ball through six during the second of five. Paul Grant, Justin Scally, Jordan Britton, Bob Lee, Corey Lizzi on the technology, also in the background. Head been hit, crosses over, gets eight. Looking at the three to the right, seven to the left. 73 through 6. Getting Frank Lamass, originally Millis Mass. Oh, what a try! Right, Object pin, but wouldn't go. With good bit. I think you can sense right now, Danny knows that while it's early in the match, he can really grab momentum right now. With Nando frustrated, if he can have a big half, it's going to feel a lot different for him. 10 there. 83 through 7. Do you smell blood sometimes, Justin, when someone's down like that? Do you get extra adrenaline? Oh, yes, absolutely. If you, if you wouldn't be a competitor if you didn't. Can you see crowd on here yet today? I know if I was in Danny's shoes right now, I'd be feeling that way. Right in the head of the head table, it splits 2 1. 6 on the right, 2 4 on the left. Again, are you splitting the uprights here? Or are you going outside? You, I think with that, you, you can, can go that. outside. Now, what is. That wood is frozen on the six, so that's set up in a perfect spot. Take the left. Danny Finn, the number 60, defeated Dan Goffier. They battled back and forth, switching positions every week, it seemed like. They go from third to sixth or seventh or eighth. Defeated Kyle Hetty. Defeated George Britton, a thrilling overtime match. Catch up all those and spreading for production to YouTube. Finn to nine. 92 through eight in the second of five from the table. Check out the new restaurant bar here at Academy Lanes, Route 125, April Mass. Spectacular looking. Amazing job they've done here. Yeah, they did an excellent job with that. It was a hit during the Mixed Worlds last month. You try the pizza yet? I have not. Get one tonight. Really good homemade. Then, right in the middle. 2, 4, 7 left, 6, 10 on the right, one piece of wood. Had a 102 in the first thing, 1 up by 4, 102.98. Punch up the four pin. Now here you're going for the short two in the right, I would think. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now if you if you needed a shot, would you go for the two in the right or would you go for the two pin on the left? Would if I it? needed to make it, I would play it like there was no win. I would try to cut the two pin over. It's an eight on that. One hundred through nine. At the end of the day, whatever you're looking at, you gotta you gotta you gotta play the odds. Mark Ritchie said on the podcast, the broadcast we did with Justin Linus, Chuck DeRoja said, you want to go lower pins into bigger pins. Right. I was never told that when I was holding the regular league. I always want the, what the big pins first. The back door gets nine. Oh, what a break. Almost a Julian. First, first time in the half, he's off the head pin and probably his best lead to look at. So, Funny how it works out in this game sometimes. 
first pair. Missed it. Missed two single pins. Those will come back, aren't you? Not gonna make them all the time, but we want to get at least. You would. Sub walk. You would think shooting the head pin would be easy enough, but after you just missed it, sometimes that looks that looks a little smaller than normal. Nine for 109 second string. 102, 109. It's a 105 league average. Right around his average. Two string total of 211. And Fernando Gachana, 41 half, trying to get back on track here. So he needs 70, 18 right he needs, now. Two. Yeah, he needs 70, 73 pins in this half to take the to take the, to take the lead. And Fernando was down double digits against Rob Brown that conference semifinals from last spring. That looks a lot better. That's the king pin. That's the five pin. Oh, the right. that's perfect. Yeah, that that is nice, perfect. Yeah. Little margin for error now, yeah. Same spot, just there. Got it. All over it. Right on it. Didn't, didn't even need the wood. 51 of the ball through six in the second and five. If nothing else, that piece of wood gave him a little bit of a confidence boost. Champion, championship Saturday here from Academy Lane to everyone else. Justin Waters, Matt Suits to the fall, the Pro Division Finals. Yeah, Fernando got a little pep talk from his sister right before he went back up, so we'll see if that did the trick. It felt like the, the home, home run, run derby. derby. They call a timeout and they get the teammates come over with the Gatorade. It yep. looked exactly like that. Yep. She, uh, might have been able to calm him down a bit. On the bonus, crosses over, pack of five, the hay bale. Great piece of wood here. Ooh, we just clipped the head pin. Perfect piece of wood, Justin. Uh, I wouldn't say that. It looks a little angled from my viewpoint. I'd say he, he wants to go um, to the left of the stripe and drive it back. That's why I'm back here. <laughs> yeah, we are at a different angle. Now he goes low. What did you say, Justin? <laughs> What it's worth, I would have gone way left too, but he he just caught the the tenth in with the ball there. So that's Five throw, shot. another spare. He's got two in a row. Fifty six through six, sixty six in the ball through seven. Here comes Fernando. Yeah, general rule of thumb when you got an angle piece of wood in a shot like that, you want to go up high and drive it back, especially here. I'm right once in a while, Justin. Not too often. <laughs> just ask my wife. <laughs> On the bonus, goes left. It's seven. That's the one, three, and the seven. Big fill, though. That might be one of the better, one of the better quarter hit breaks that he's got. Seventy-three through seven, the second of five. Championship Saturday. Wait for that wood to back the settle down. Love, love for that wood to touch up against the seven, or even just get a little bit closer. Yeah. Looking for bonus money here. Oh, oh my and God! Oh, a for spare. Three in a row. Back on his game here. Then he wants his sister to go away. <laughs> yes, he does. What a shot that was. Yeah, I wasn't sure if hitting outside would have would have uh, would have done the trick there, but I guess the ball just caught the back piece of wood. A 41 half, he's up to 83 in a ball through 8 here in the second of He's five. already beaten that. That's before oh, this spell. The spare, 9. Look up for Strike. Yes! Strike on Spare. He's got 4 in a row. Wow. Wow, it's right. 93 through 8, 103 plus 2 through 9. I think that timeout pep talk might have done something. That's a big, big time half here. Jenny went back and forth at Jordan Britton that conference final also. Jenny had a 26 pin lead. Jordan led by 11 going that fifth string. And just a wild game that was. Mm. Again, all these broadcasts catching on spreading good production. Track the three right there. Fernando down 10 overall right now. He he's he's going to take the lead going to the last one. You've wow. got to be kidding me. Double strike almost. Not the conventional shot. No, but it, no, but it was effective. Hopefully that wood doesn't flatten out at all. He was talking to himself, muttering on his yeah. breath, smacked with himself, pulling one half. Look at this. Yeah, I don't blame him. Tail of two halves. All right, he's got to pick. He's got to pick a side here. And he gets it. He's got five marks in a row. What a performance! So one thirteen to nine, one twenty three to ball in the tenth. Is that right? Yes, that's right. Unbelievable finish. Borderline ninety half here. Is that one? Oh, is, uh, he's eight. Yeah, he needs eight for a ninety half. Left is three. 
but what a string. 126. The 85 half, the number two seed, Jennifer Chana. Championship Saturday from Academy Lanes, Haverhill, Mass. Wow, what, what a turnaround. 126, so he takes the lead. And which from actually now, Justin? 13. Yeah, it went down by four in the first, a 13 match. Just got the third string back to Justin Scali. All right. Danny off to the left. Well, let's see if Danny can respond from that haymaker that was just thrown at him. Now, Jordan and, and Justin, when, when you have that lead, then somebody does that against you, you have on the ropes, and they come back. Does that rattle you sometimes when you're, when you're down double digits? I don't think so. I mean, Danny knows what to expect from Fernando. Fernando wasn't going to roll over and die, and Danny knew that. And so he's just got to answer back. It's his job now. You know, Fernando chipped away, answered back in a big way, and now he's just got to go do it. So it's just part of the game. He's got to come back. I know Danny with an eight box here. I mean, some, of the best, some of the best matches have back and forth momentum swings, so... Let's see what happens now. Danny right. lost the range to start the string off. Got the one, three, seven, eight, ten. Got a couple favorable pieces of wood there. Looks good. Wow. I thought go. Yeah, I thought. Well, I thought I'd at least get one of the back two there. Corey Lisi, Bob Lee, behind the scenes, Jordan Britton, Justin Scott, Tom Britton, Lyons. Got him lead table mass. ACST final semi pro division. Justin Waters, Matt Sissy on deck for the pro division finals next. I'll be my mixed worlds teammate against my my uh, now my Friday pro league teammate. Who so will be on your team now, Friday night pro league? Uh, we uh, Ross is not set yet. Right now it's Nick Leach, Matt Susi, Matt Nichols, and myself. Good team. Yep. We don't have our fifth locked in just yet. Nice shot. Oh, what a shot. shot by Danny at the 5, 9, 10 there. He had a little bit of wiggle room on there where um, how much um, room he had a little bit of margin for error there of where he needed to play the shot. 27 of all from three here, the third of five. Hey, Dee, oh, yeah. how are you? Good. Hey, Paul. Yes. Danny with a five fill. He's got the Cleary left. 32 for three. Oh, just two there. Got the one, seven, and nine left. Trying to hit the head pin here, see what he can get out of it. Get anything there, so that's a seven. So Danny's 39 to four. Jordan, tell the viewers about Candleton Corner on Twitch, you and Corey Lisi. Yeah, so we started a podcast. I should say Corey started up and then brought me in a podcast on Twitch, which we do it live. Uh, so twitch.tv backslash Candleton Corner. Uh, same, you know, Corey's kind of said just another outlet. Danny's all over the head pin there. Uh, just another outlet for us to be able to talk about bowling. We have done some live streaming of matches, but we usually go live on Sunday nights and just talk to our game, whatever's going on. Uh, so we kind of just laid back atmosphere to talk bowling and kind of just bring the, we bring the chat in and everybody kind of add to the conversation and we go from there. Danny goes right, right, where, I, right, right where I would have gone and he's got it. Second spear of the string. And that's a big one for Danny. 49 in the ball for the fifth. For five. He's, as he hits the halfway point of this match. He's down 13, right? 13 in the match. 13, Jordan. He was down 13 going into that half, yes. Okay. And Fernando goes through the middle. You actually to carry. He's got the 6, 7, 8, and 10. A couple pieces of wood on the deck. He lost that first thing, 102.98 at 41 half in the second. At 85 second half for 126. I think the match is at 13. He's pretty right. Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. I'll just grab two and move on. Pretty much needed to yeah, catch the pin first. Almost makes it clean. The six pin goes behind the eight for an eight box. So Nando with an eight with an eight to start. Looking to keep that hot 
trick a ball and go and put the pressure on Danny. Make it a little tougher for him to come back. And that's a good ball right there. Three pin falls late. He's got the 6 to 10 with a nice little guy there to the left of the 6. They go right to those pins, right? Oh, yeah. In an ideal world, you're pretty much just going to go right at it with uh, what gets a, gets a little bit of a guide, and you, know, you don't want to catch that much of it. That would have been one of those cases where if you had grazed the wood on the way by, it would have helped reflect it in, but you don't want to. But the way, with the way that wood was angled, that was way, way too high on it. Over the nine there, 17 through two. Tied in the string, 13 pin lead with Nando in the match. Yep, he's up to five. Right, but now he's got to go opposite two spares in the next three boxes. I'm still waiting for your craziest shot you've made. Have you, your brain computed that yet, Justin? <laughs> I may have I may have that for you in the next match. Ball. Okay. <laughs> no pressure. And Nando goes through the middle. A little full, not too bad. You're a golf pro. You consider, you consider yourself a golf pro? Uh, not a pro. No, no, not by a long shot. Not just a match. No, 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 no. That's he's there's a big difference between a 15 handicap, which I am, and a golf and a and a pro. Does it help your bowling game? Swing and things like that? I think the only I think the only thing to, to me that translates is just the tempo. You want to have nice, consistent tempo because they're completely different. Because they're face, they're different motions more or less. As Fernando with an eight box there, we had a twenty-five through three. So Danny, uh, Danny got seven pins back there for completed boxes. Actually, that's six for Fernando Pachano. Number two seed in front. I guess the one other similarity between the bowling delivery and the golf swing is that you want your body to drag your arm to the shot and not have your arm do everything, do all the work. And so, oh, that's Dover over in the left corner in the 4-7 pocket gets a hell of a break. How are you playing the Woody Justin? Uh, let's see where it sends up. Uh, what do you think, George? Two pin? I think so. I was going to say, I think he's, ah. I would, I would probably go way right. I think try to catch the cap again. I don't know if he if he's flush with it that it's going to send it back, but I might be wrong. I uh, don't think he gets that one. I thought he might go more right in that pin there, that wood there in front. Cause I would have played it there if the, if the pieces of wood stayed together. What do I know? As, as Fernando gets a 10 box. He's a 39 through 4. He's a standing up 4 through completed boxes in the string. <laughs> Fernando is up nine in the match through completed boxes. Two five pocket this time. Got a good break there. Drop seven, leaves the one three six. Got a clean, got a clean look at it. Uh, chops out just the three, so you got the one six left. We end up from a family of bowlers for 20 years. That's right. The whole family see it today. As Fernando finishes the first half with an eight box. He's at 43 through five, so Danny with a six. Danny with a six pin lead in the string plus the fill. So a virtual tie in the match. Average spare is about six and a half. So uh Danny, Danny. Danny. We're gonna pause here for a mini break here. So just the pin cam. Paul Green, Justin Scally, Corey Lisi, Bob Lee, Jordan Britton. Jordan, your thoughts so far on the match, halfway through. I mean, it's been, Corey called it on the podcast, it has been a war of attrition. These guys both back and forth, kind of working out the kinks. Fernando had that huge, huge half in game two. Kind of settled back a little bit now, but Danny's kind of turning on the jet. So it's been a tough back and forth, and it's, gonna, it's a close match. I think now yeah, we're within seven, so we could be looking at a tie match uh, once Danny fills this. And that's where we want to be. It hasn't been pretty all the way through, but it's been a uh, really tightly contested match. So this back half should be exciting. And Jordan, you can be born in the ACST semi uh, Class B, it'll be called next year instead of Semi Pro I'll, Class B. I'll be Class B. I'll be out of the North Conference this year, which will be exciting. I won't have to drive to Millis every other week, which uh, will not upset my car in the uh, in the slightest. Is your division all set, by the way? It looks like it. Yeah, it looks like it should be a little bit of academy, a little bit of lake side. 
I am my division, which I'm excited, excited about. I like going to the big side. It's been a while since I've been there. Who are some of the bulls? Who are some of the bulls in your division? I'll be honest with you, I have no idea. Uh, actually, no, it's um, Andy Klempa. Uh, I believe it was supposed to be Mike McIntosh, but I think now his average has jumped up where they don't know if he's going to be pro or Class A or Class B. And then there's one other bowler that's out of Lakeside. I just can't remember his name right now. Mike McIntosh is a really good bowler. He didn't, he doesn't, he didn't bowl up for a while. He's back, yeah, he's back yeah, on I was track now. I was surprised to see his name on the Class yeah. B list. Uh, yeah. But in, I think he's, he's shown this summer why he should have been on there in the first place. Wait for the pink him to get reset here. Championship Saturday here for Academy Lane Table Mass. Semi pro division final. Danny Finn, number six seed, number two seed, Fernando Kachana. Danny up six in the string, down seven in the match. I scared I work on that. Off to take the lead. Seven to tie, eight to take the lead. Five string total format. Should there be a tie, a one string roll on? Danny Finn is an accountant. For a living. Not the one in the movie. He's a sharpshooter sometimes, but not like that. It's on lane 33 here. Back to Justin. Nice. Would you look at that? We do have a tie ball game, boys. After uh, What a surprise. ACST tie. That. Imagine that. 25, bo 25 boxes in. We are dead here. Same oh, what a bit there. So that shot, you either go way left or way right. You try way left, and it almost worked. He gets it for the 10. It's a good 10. 66 through 6. Great match coming up next. Danny, uh, Matt Susie and Justin Waters. It'll be a good one. Oh, yes, finals. absolutely. Drops eight at three six. Oh, he's got it. A little full, but got some help from the wood in the back there. Third mark of the string. Yeah. Seventy six in the ball here in the seventh. He's locked in. When Danny, when Danny gets the body language going, you can, he, he is he is in the zone, and it's uh it is on fire right Kate now. Kate Finn is his coach when he's struggling. She's got him. She gave him a little pep talk in between. She gave him a little something. He's ready. Bang. Ball there from Danny. All over it. Three six ten. Piece of wood. Not a greatest spot between the between the six and the ten. I want to go outside here. Catches the back two. Okay, does a great job running out on the field. Next one, September 17th at Ryan Film Amusements, Millis Mass. That's right. Scratch one. Are you pulling that, Justin? Absolutely. Jordan, you going to that one? I will not be there. I, I don't think I'm on the waiting, waiting list. I'm on, I did not get in time, so I am on the waiting list. I have not been added. You got the record for the most waiting list, don't you? <laughs> I'm all over it. Yeah, that. Yeah, the scratch one is never filled up, so if. That is even anywhere remotely close to full. That'll that'll be a re that'll be a record. Hey, Finn, Danny Finn, outstanding job as always. Uh, that's a not that's a terrible piece of wood he's got there. I almost want to go down the low end, try and bank it off the wall. Oh, banked it off the wall. Oh, he got the wall pie right. I didn't think that was gonna go, but it worked for him. More spares in the string. Yeah, 102. 102. 102 and a ball here in the night. Oh no, that's oh, five. five. Yikes. Too, too good. Does that shake your confidence sometimes? Momentum bust, you're throwing the ball good and that happens. Does that really derail you sometimes? I guess it depends. Like I think you know when you, when you take out like any when you go through the middle like that, it's not as much, especially if you're not doing. It. If you do it once, that's one thing. But if you do, it's it's when you're doing it over and over and over again is when you start to get frustrated. I feel like erasing the scoreboard just put two tens instead of spare two and eight. Yeah, right. It basically <laughs> was. So, so an unfortunate ending there and killed a little bit of his momentum. 
Lunch ball swing for Danny Finn in third. Fernando finds himself down to 56 here with uh, five boxes in Danny's favor. Down 56 points. So Fernando struggling with that 43, but let him go build himself another quick cushion. If he can come back and have a steady half here, then we're going to have a really close match. So He seems to like this left side too, so I like his odds. Yep. He's one back with a good fill and good count to keep, at least keep the match close. We had 41 half in that second string and an 85 five pop in the second half. Oh and that's why I call goodness. the Susie special. Oh five, seven, ten. Goodness. But Susie had no wood though, he made a shot. Yeah, I've, I've seen that go without wood, I think, three times now. Do you know who they were? Uh, nobody you know. The other two weren't anybody you know. How are you playing the way to adjust it? Way right. Oh, wow. 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 wow! The sushi special was wood! I think Fernando's as confused as we are. I say he was just as surprised that it went on that side. That shot is not supposed to go that way. Not with that setup. You learn something new every day, huh? Jinx for a change. Hey, well, I think outside of Danny, I think the rest of us will take it. How about that shot? Any way they fall, 53 and a ball for six. Incredible. Up to the left. All right. Friendly break. Got a break there. Six, Phil. 59 through six. He's got a nice guy to run this down. Now with that frozen wood there, pretty much needs to hit the head right on the nose. And oh! Oh! Are you kidding me? <laughs> wow! Two oh! Improbable spare. Two. A back to a full husband for a spare. Incredible. Two, a couple, couple two, of veteran reads. Two straight unlikely breaks. Fernando will call those veteran reads. Yes. Those would, that would qualify as a veteran read. I think the Havel train is going by in the back of the lanes. He caught it at the right I don't time. know if the microphone has picked it up, but I think his sister just cat called him. Well, maybe not. The trains are always late, so I don't right. know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Don't you when you make a great shot like that, then you get a terrible throw? Yeah, because though. you get a golden. Yeah, you if you yeah, you're truly gonna take advantage of an opportunity like that, you're gonna snatch the pocket and get at least eight on the next ball. Sometimes your adrenaline runs too fast. And when you get oh up the, yes. Oh yes. Looks like he's got a plank frozen there. There's a wood frozen on the five. So it gets everything but the, gets everything but the six. Hit it, hit it the way he's supposed to, but we'll call that justice for the last two, so. Yeah, I think I would second that. All right, nine box there, so eight, 82 through eight. Danny Finn's hoping for a couple of those next time up. Yes. Sponsoring, sponsoring spares. That is still not a Susie special, though. The wood helps. Right. Only down 17 with two boxes to go yeah. here. So does, it doesn't need a mark to take the lead by any means, but the mark does go a long way towards building this lead. 17 to tie the match. Off to, the, off to the left again. That's the best break, best break of the, best break of the half. One six and ten with a few pieces of wood. Really should have said get on that like head pin. Shoot head pin. The back two will carry. And he's got it. Ninety-two to ball, Fernando in the ninth. Fernando picking up where he left off on lane thirty-three in the second string, as you alluded to, Jordan. I think you'd like to stay there all day. Yes. Championship Saturday, first of two matches. Justin Waters, Matt Susie on deck for the Pro Division Finals. Fernando can take the, the four field here. We'll, we'll take the lead in the match back. And he overachieved there. He dropped six. Maybe he'll still back to a one here again. I think I dropped my coffee if that happens. So he doesn't have any wood to help him this time, though. So he's going to have to earn this one. Four horse on the right side, the one, three, six, and ten. Yeah, a little full just takes out the front two. The three pin goes around everything. So Fernando.
Fernando Gachana will have the lead through three. A nine box there for 107. So after three, the lead is eight, 331, 323 for Fernando Gachana. Danny Finn jumps back up, start lane four on lane 34. Two more springs to go from Academy Lane's Haverhill Mass. Championship Saturday, ACST Semi Pro Finals, number 60, Danny Finn. In the pocket for strike nine. Nine pin left up, two feet to wood. Justin, how are you playing the wood here? Gotta be careful that cap. Uh, get the cap it. Uh, looks like the wood is frozen. I'd say you can pretty much go right at it. He yep. flaps, he gets he got it. it. Ten of the ball, start the fourth. In the back and forth match. Oh, yeah. Danny's trailing here, but he is going up every single game. He's 102, 107, 109, so he's going up every time. The, uh, I'm sorry, 102, 109, 112, 109, 107 was, was an end up. But he is uh, continuing to go up, so keep that back track. He's going to be all right. On the bonus, head been hit, seven. Looking at the five, eight, and the seven to the left. Let's slide outside that five, Justin. Absolutely. Try to cut the five pin over. 17 after one in the fourth to five championship match. Out to five seven. I got one here. Just yep. to right eight. 25 to two. Director of the ACST done a great job. How about, how about Maine? 28 teams right now in Maine have signed up. The ACST. That's how many they have? Nice. Unofficially 2018. It was six about a month or two ago. Oh, good. Good. I think streaming definitely helps. Danny Finn's done a great job promoting it. Matt Hoff, Mark Weber have done an awesome job organizing that one. We've got teams from Old Town, Maine. Stars and Strikes in South Paris promoting this also. Yeah, at least because with how, with how spread out the houses are up there, if they can, can get the... Can get the... Um, they group the houses by... by uh, North or South. You know, I was in South Paris last night, the Westmilly 33rd annual open night tournament. There was, I think, eight bowlers in the same house. Oh, what a bid. Okay. Five by Danny, straight out. Fourth man for nine. Good out. 34 through three. Yeah. Hours Danny Finn puts into this, this league is amazing. Plus, the other one, the bear. Okay. Three that time. Danny won the first, 102.98. Okay. 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 Danny won the second. Danny won the third. Danny won by eight coming in. Nice ball! Almost! Wow, everything but the nine pin. Excuse me, the five pin. A 90 and 36 second half after being in fourth place at one point. It's nine. Oh, look at ten! Unfortunately, unfortunately, his break was a 10 box, but he gets a break nonetheless. 44 through 4 in string number 4 or 5. Great crowd on hand here, Justin. Yeah. Your thoughts on the match so far, Jordan Britton? It's been an awesome back and forth. Big, good little bounce back here from Danny. Uh, Mark, Mark, Mark here puts the pressure on. If he doesn't mark, he's going to be up, up less than 50. Uh, so Fernando's probably in a pretty comfortable spot. Uh, but a Mark here goes a long way to putting some pressure on. There's that cluster six there on the right. One in the ten. I'm going to grab at least one here. Two would be a bonus. And nice try with a ten. Won't go, but a nine for a 53 half. The number 60, Danny Finn. Turn by eight in the match. And you can't go to has got your fourth string. All right. All right, so Fernando catches a bit of a break there. Danny got the mark to start the string off, but that was it. In the 18-week ACST season, I know records are out the window in the playoffs. The fourth string was Fernando's worst string, 104 average. What's who, who's worst string? Fernando. Oh, Fernando's worst string, okay. 110 during the regular ACST season. All right, so on, pa on, paper, so on paper, that's good news for Danny, but on paper doesn't mean anything. There's the two, the four, and the eight down the two. And a great piece of wood behind the four. Should go pretty much anyway, right? You think. 
Yeah, anywhere on that two should be good. All right. I think the only way that wouldn't have gone if he hit the two was if he would have hit it like he would like he would chop out the two and the eight. He's a former out run the pair champion. Oh, okay. It's an eight. He's got the fourth. So Danny Finn leads by nine this spring. Danny Finn leads one in the match. Here we go again. Back and forth. And that's, and that is through completed boxes. Yeah, so Nando, Nando, down, Nando down 37 with four boxes in hand here. So doesn't have to mark to take the lead going into game uh, game five. He does need to pin well, however, at the very least. I know all too well about that. Um, Nando back in the pocket leaves the 2 4. A little full, got a splash. Yep. He's below 51% for Pro Bowl, it sounds like. Semi Pro, low 40s. Low 40s. Critical production stats. It's so easy, don't they? You would think. And. Oh, oh, oh. Wilson. 18 the ball through 2 in the 4th of 5, Championship Saturday. He got that a little full, but it was just light enough to carry the back pin. Big spare there for Fernando. Only one lemon drop so far today. Nope, just one. That's good though. As far as bowl is concerned. You don't, want to be, you don't want to be throwing too many of those. Especially on your first ball. I don't think y'all want some mines. It's all for charity. Yeah. That's true. So Fernando trots five. Three, six, ten on the right, four, seven on the left. Piece of wood, the back is resting on the six and lined up perfectly with the left side. Let's see which way he decides to go. I'm not sure it makes a difference. Oh, what a shot! Oh, what a bid! That looked good, didn't it? Yeah, it did. I think I think the wood may have uh, overcut the three pin. That would have gone on the second string in that second half. 85 I think, half. I think if the wood wasn't there, he would have carried it. Nine blocks. Three, I, two through three in the fourth. I mean, even just from our from our vantage point, I think with where he hit that, I think the cap of that wood deflected the three pin too far up, so that it knocked the four pin straight back instead of into the seven pin. Down two in the string, up six in the match. Through completed boxes. As you can see, he only needs fourteen here in the last two to tie it up. Left. Still hit ten. Another one goes. Eight and ten. Ten holds up. The only cheers him on. Say, I'm not sure if he wanted that pin to fall. It would have looked a lot. It would have been a lot easier of a make with the three pin up. Now he's now he's got a decision. Now he's got a decision to make. And how you guys? How you guys playing the wood here? With this, I'm I'm thinking way right. Because it looks like that back piece of wood on the double there is angled a little bit to the left towards the eight. Nando doing his own mound visit there. Going out to the free throw line, the foul line to take a look. For a spare. Yes! Fouls it straight back. 42 to ball through four here in the fourth of five. The ACST semi pro finals, Academy Lanes, Table Mass. Check out the brand new restaurant and bar. Beautiful. Fernando with a with a two kill here will uh, retake the lead, or should I say keep the lead. On the spare field goes left, it's four, five, six. Oh, that's a very favorable break there. The that, one, that, two, three, two, six, the really five time in his friend today. Yeah, he's making a living off that two pin here today. Forty-eight up to four. One, three, five, yep, one, three, five, and six. For another one, Ooh, missed it. Philip Reese in that one back here. For the most part, as long as he covered the head pin, he was good. It looks like it looks like the wood's frozen behind the five and the six. Yep. Ball game special. Missed the second, make the third. I got living on those. <laughs> a 58 half. He has five to leads of 13 in the match. As he was at the two strings. Halfway to the fourth string out of five. 
the championship status has got to be laying the table now. It's Paul Grant, Justin Scally, Corey Lisi, Jordan Britton, Bob Lee, and a whole bunch of others. Old cast of characters here today. We got a full house on this beautiful Saturday afternoon. Yeah, we so we got a crowd starting start to develop. Start 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 so as this gets time, exciting, I think the crowd's going to help add to it even more. So this is uh, this is going to be fun. As Danny catches a break there on the quarter. He's got the one on the nine. And what off to the left might help him out a little bit. Nope. Just ahead and left. Cool. There you go. Gets the 10 box, 63 through 6 here in the fourth. ACST semi pro division finals. Catch all these matches on Spread Eagle Productions on YouTube. Subscribe for free. Right, he knows. 3 2 split. Those at home don't know the pins. That's the 2 4 7 the left and 6 10 on the right. One piece of wood. Got some help though. Left side of the two, I like it. Right, yep. Get over. To try. Want to go a little more inside. Yep. We need a couple of knocks here. Pressure on Nando. Absolutely. Eight. Seventy-one through seven. We're gonna lose. These guys are, you know, Danny Finn's had an improbable run here as a six seed. A okay. six and seven conference finals match with Jordan Britton, and that was a great match. One for the ages. Thrilling match. That's a match you want to see both of them win. Right. Off to the right, has the fourth and left of one, two, four, and seven. The Miller's can call it the Kamrowski special. Danny Finn pulls out of Millis. Hand out of Steve Bell in Boston. And yes, yes! He needed that one. 81 of the ball through eight. Oh, he just clipped the head pin. He's been pretty consistent today, about 36, 37 miles an hour. It took a couple off there to make it, so maybe he found a little bit of a touch. I think that's the speed he wants. He was a little bit lower in the uh, conference finals. On his bonus. Oh, oh for strike nine! Ten pin left up. That is one of the best balls he's thrown the entire match. It was identical to what he just threw right there. I think if I were Danny, that's the tempo, that's the tempo he's looking for. For another one. Yes! Oh, his turn for a friendly bounce. Oh, oh, Danny got to help her. 100 a ball through nine here on the fourth of five. Championship Andy Saturday. Right ACFC semi pro division finals. Phil hooks it a three. 103 to nine. Okay, cheering him on. He got a little too excited there. That's my problem, so I was a little too camped up. Nice second ball. Oh, no. Much better. That may have gone the two piece of wood collided. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they didn't. Yeah, because that five pin was wiggling. Ten for 113, fourth string here. And that's what he gets. 113. Great. Jordan said getting better and better. Still going up every string. That is that yeah, that was a that was a big finish for Danny right there. 113 fourth string. 436. He did get a 600 though in that conference uh, finals, and so did Jordan Britton. I did, I did too, don't forget that. <laughs> See, Nando Dan Dan offers it a top big half, half there from Danny, but still, so only down, down 47 with five, with five boxes. So he's, there's not too much pressure. He's going to have, just have, have a steady half. half. He's going to be feeling good going into game five. And a 58 half. Up 13 coming in. And now he's going over to his good lane. Right in the pocket for stroke nine. Right on cue. What's the, I think he's a microphone. Give him a microphone in his ear. <laughs> call the plays in. Yeah. You can call plays for the Patriots. Justin. Yeah, right. I'm trying to get Lane Britton to do that. Oh missed it. boy. James missed two. Daniel just one. Joe, I think your father, Lane Britton, the coach, he should coach the Patriots. He could do an offensive play. They don't even have an offensive coordinator. I know. That's why he's only should coach it. I don't know. I mean, you, can, you can take the hometown discount, you know. Nine 
Green Box 67 through 6 in the fourth of five. Championship Saturday. And he catches a bit of a break there. It's a 113 string, 100 to tie the match in the string. That's all he needs. Good chance to have the lead going to the fifth. He's 33 and 4 to tie the match. Right. And you're looking to put a couple of marks together and get this lead up into double digits. Off to the right, and I call it the post. One, two, four, seven, and a ten. Two pieces of wood off to the right. Now, is this when you cut outside the head pin, or you can just put the uprights? I probably would go outside here, because you got the wood over there on the right. This is for a spare. Good try. That looked good. Four, seven holds up. Just, just a hair full. Just a hair full. My problem is I used to try to hit the outside, I'd miss it by the inch, and I'd get the you know, go in the hole. And we all do it. Boot box 75 through 7 in the fourth. So this is where Danny turned it on in the eighth here in the fourth game. So you end up box the same thing. Match. Division finals next. Max Susie, number seven seed, number one seed, Justin Waters. The two highest seeds are here today. Number two, Amanda Vachana in the semi pro. Number one, the only number one, survivor in the pro division. That eight box there, Fernando's going to need a mark. He's going to need a mark to take the lead. Ooh, and a pair of stuff to throw that one. He's going to do the shots like that today. That was it. 85 plus two through eight. He got his mark, Reverend Q, again. I think he's mic'd up for good. <laughs> My voice does travel. <laughs> Bring in the 10 fall late and get a nice... If I get healthy nice again, break. I can bowl, Justin. I want, you, I want you to do that when I bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, see what, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> with I need some sleep. <laughs> see if you can load this up. On the strike ball, it's the one, nine, the ten. Would the help? Tupin has been so kind to him today. He could have had some really tough breaks all day long off the two, and he has he's gotten some help. Would that happen to CPL, you think? <laughs> I don't know about that. Sometimes it does. I've seen times down there where you get better breaks off the quarter pins than the head pins. Wide left. Seven to strike, though. 92 to eight. Danny Finn was fortunate to do so. On the road for all three matches, but all match, three matches ended up being in Millis. You have one foot advantage in some ways. Mm -hmm. Three matches. Dan Gothier, Kyle Hayes, and Jordan Finn was the sump this year because it took over for. Yeah, yeah it took over from uh, my old Mason's compadre, Mark Ufai. 1 1 through 9, Nando with a 9. And Jordan, you took over 16 and 26, and you came to 7. You could have been 6 to 5th, maybe. If you took over, maybe in the beginning, yeah, possibly. Yeah, my, yeah, last, my two last two matches in the regular season are ones I'd like to forget. Brenda O'Dow and uh, Steve Reno Sr. both uh, both gave it to me pretty good, so I was happy, I was happy to be in the dance. You That's all I was looking for. You beat a number two seed, Chris McDonough, and a number one seed also. I got a, got a hot streak, and Danny Danny put out the flame. And you couldn't you couldn't beat a number six seed. <laughs> one there, Fernando with a pitch out. We'll be back to Pro Division next year, I think, uh, the next year. I need, I need a big year if I'm going to do that, but we'll see what happens. It took five years off, so it takes time to get back. That's it, it does. It does for sure. Final box for fourth string. Well, you want to call the fifth. Well, you won in those first two matches, Jordan. Yeah, that, that, that's one thing you had in common. That's one thing you had in common with Josh Dale, because he did the exact same thing from the exact same seat. Took out the top two. It felt good. I wish, wish I could have won one more. But, uh, Fernando gets a little bit closer. Good take just four. Uh, the lead two match in four strings. One uh, more to go. Not necessarily. He's got to be careful with this one. Okay, that's better. Oh, pretty shot. That's a, nine. That's a ball. And a big nine box there for Fernando. Well, I believe it's a ten pin lead. Is it ten or is it five? It is five. five. So Fernando with a one ten fourth string to Danny's one thirteen. So Danny cuts. Cuts three more pins off the lead. So, if this were the regular season, Danny, Danny would have gotten six points so far as he's won, as he's had the highest score in three out of the four strings. But as you alluded to, it's all total pitfall. 
So Fernando Gachana takes the lead going into the last string. He's, he's up by five, 441 to 436. Championship Saturday, conference finals, ACST semi pro division, Paul Grant, Justin Skelly, Corey Lisi, Bob Lee, Good Britain. And Danny's turn to get a break off the two pin. Other than a strike, that's probably the best break you could get. Back to Justin Skelly in the call. As he drops nine. The six pin with a nice plank right in front. Oh, he got away. He got, yeah, he got away. He got away with that one. He was down 11 against Jordan Britton after being up 26 after one. He was down 11 going that fourth string. He had two marks to start the string and then going overtime. Right. Oh my goodness. Danny looking. Danny can't take advantage of, of the gift. Drops four. Got the cluster of five on the right in the seventh pin. But takes out just the five. Oh boy. Oh, I thought it. I was going to get just the 10 there. He ends up making a 6, 7, 10 clean for an 8 box. Yeah, I came close to being a, uh, a catastrophic miss, but uh, yep. Danny gets a break. Yep, he was able to make the mark count. He like rushed that one a little bit. He looked like he lost his footing on the slide a bit there. Yep. He's got the one. Eight, nine, and ten with some wood. By the headman just takes the eight there. Looking for a good out here with some help around. Yeah, oh, he's got it. Got the ten. Nine pin falls late. So thirty-two from three. Jordan, for those who missed it earlier, please tell the, the viewers about your a podcast approach. Yeah, so uh, can Candle Pin Corner, uh, can or Twitch TV backslash Candle Pin Corner. Uh, Corey Elisi and I go live usually every Sunday. Uh, we won't go live this Sunday because we went live earlier today, but uh, just another spot for us to talk about the game. Danny on the two takes out the whole left side. Uh, but yeah, we just want another another option for talk about the game. And we've done some live streaming of matches. Uh, we'll do some more obviously as the season picks up in the fall. Can you talk about also the Amazon Prime? Thing yeah, yeah. So uh, you can you can Twitch Prime subscribe uh, to, to the channel. Our first month we donated all proceeds to uh, Candlepins for Cancer. We ended up being about sixty seventy dollars uh, as a donation. Yeah, which was great. Uh, we got got a. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Wow, 125. We guess we picked it up there at the end. I wasn't aware. So 125 dollars went to Candlepins for Cancer uh, just from subs. Uh, and if you have Amazon Prime, you can do it completely for free. Uh, you just link your account between the the two, and uh, you can subscribe completely free uh, and help support the channel. And he catches another break. Uh, Break on the on the on the on the drop. I'm not so sure about the lead. Got the one six and ten. Got a road, got a road block out the wood, Justin. It might be. Oh, 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 oh. I'm not That's sure. a heck of a read. I'm, I'm not, not sure if he went that you wanted to go that way. No. I guess it went. So big spear there for Danny. He's at 15 on a ball. So speed of Candlepins for Cancer, we're selling wild shirts to help support Candlepins for Cancer. $25 high quality, free chunk shirt. Every shirt we sell, $10 goes to Candlepins for Cancer. So if you're interested, message myself, Paul Grant, or Frank DeLuca, your size and color, and we'll get it to you as soon as possible. The wild shirts, help improve your game. You feel better when you wear a wild shirt, too. So now Fernando's got a response. Up. Up against the 50 half. Oh, what a ball. That's a start to a response. Yep. Hoping that wood to roll back a little bit. I'm not sure if that's touch. Does he have to be right on the pin? I don't think it's touch, and I think he's got to throw out the stripe and have the ball jump up. Like that. There you go. Spare in the first for Fernando. See if he can do better than what Danny did in the first two. Get an opera. Got a golden opportunity here. So as you can see, he's uh, he's 35 pins the rest of the half to, to tie things up. 
The fifth string was his best string, by the way, in the ACST regular 18 week season, 115 average. Talk about finishing strong. Yeah, finishing. And a ball there. Trots nine. He was down at Rob Brown, double digits, won that uh, conference semifinal, and won that one at CPL. He was down just nine eights, three bucks to go, and double strike to win that one. Well, that was a humongous double strike. As he's got the 10 pin with nothing around it. Oh, just missed. Three single pins today. Yep. Yeah, the corners aren't easy to make, though. The right hand, you think the right hand, right, it's harder for right hand to get that 10 pin? I guess it depends on the ball, and I've had more luck with the 10 pin than the 7 pin. I've seen it. I mean, I used to, I used to be virtually automatic with singles on the left side, and the right side was kind of hit or miss. But now it seems to have flipped. Fernando's a 28 through two. He's picked up six and completed boxes. Right now, the match is 11. He had 18 in his last three boxes to take the lead going into the back five. Into the triangle on the left corner there. We need 17 these last two to tie, or last three, excuse me, to tie it up. But Danny does have a spare in the fifth to fill up. So Nana's going to try to put one on the board. That's the ball. Wow, that looked good, didn't it? That would go easily. Yeah, only gets out, only gets four. Funny game. Yeah, funny house. And he gets one there for an eight, 36 to three. Jordan, I don't know if you'd agree with me, but if I could use one word to describe this house, it would be funky. Funky's about, He's about right. Yeah. I like it. I do like it. It's, 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 it's starting to work itself out. I remember when I was talking to Corey on the podcast, when they changed it over, it was brutal in this room. So you saw averages drop seven, eight, nine points across the board. But it's starting to work itself out, but it still definitely does have its days where uh, things don't go as we I think they should. I definitely feel like the... the this room did fall a little, did fall a little, a little bit better this year. Yeah, yeah you're starting to see the, the scores trend up. I guess it makes sense. It's starting to break itself in. Uh, we're starting to see some big scores again. So I'm looking forward to seeing some big scores in November here. That's right. When the uh, Academy hosts the Worlds, we have a Pro Series event here before that. Do clean up pins make a difference too? I think so. Less. He goes for wood, and he gets nothing out of it. Now he looks to get he looks to get two over in the corner. Over shoots it for a seven box. Danny picks up one pin in that fourth box. So Fernando's at 43 for four. Danny's uh got himself in a, in a, in a good position here. Fernando only needs Fernando only needs three pins in this box to take the lead. But if he doesn't get a mark, Danny with a good fill will take it right back. He's got a decent decent chance to have another uh, tie ball game going into the last five. I want to see a double. I want to see a triple overtime. <laughs> These, guys These guys don't. I'll tell you what. Off to the two left. Again. Uh oh. Off the two and the head pin foul late. He's got some good action. Okay, he's got the triangle in the middle there, the 5, 8, and 9. And that that on the, the, uh, the 5, 8 is wood. sitting real pretty. Yes. Yeah, you can disregard those two pieces, kind of looking at them. Yeah, but the way that piece is lined up, right on the red line, should do it. And he gets nothing. I thought he might go to the other piece with the left. Yeah, I think that was where he needed to go. He, he, really, he really just had to be on that piece and... Just caught that one. So we have a virtual tie here in the match. It's 51 to 50. Fernando leads by one in the string, six in the match, but Danny Finn, a six to tie, a seven to take lead, five boxes to go. Championship Saturday, ACST, semi pro division finals. Paul Grant, Justin Scally, Bob Lee, Jordan Britton, Corey Lisi. A bunch of fans. On the spare, in the pocket, seven. Takes the lead in the match. 57 half. 
takes the lead by one. Five boxes to go. Triangle for a spare. Can you pick it up? Yes! Oh, Two in a row. Big shot. That was. That was. <laughs> 67. The ball through six here in the fifth. That was a perfect shot. Brian, Brian Fuller Jr. in the chat says, "What a match so far!" And I could could not be more correct. This has been awesome. Right on the money, Fuller, as usual. On the phone, it goes left, it's a break at seven. One, three, and the seven. Ooh. 74 through six. Three spares in the string. See what this piece of wood does. Might make it interesting. Now, here you go. I'm just trying to go in between. Uh, I have to shoot the, yeah, just shoot the two better. Just the other pin. Yeah, with where that wood was set up, it just even even if there was even if there was um, if there was no wood there, I'm trying to split, I'm splitting the front two. Nine walk, eighty three through seven, the final spring of the match, maybe. <laughs> this conference final, Jordan Britton won for the Yankees, a six spring win. Yeah, it's a great and a great playoffs all the way through in both leagues. It's great for us calling the play, though. Absolutely. One, nine, and ten. My heart hasn't stopped yet, Justin. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Now I can say this is I've, this, I've called a couple of uh, men's money matches that haven't been close. You don't. You definitely don't want to blow out. That's not good. Oh, that may come back. That's not good entertainment. No. We talked to Weston Lee Senior last night. He came up in the Hall of Fame. He was down 99 pins against Walter Reed, not the hospital Walter Reed, and he won the match. Wow. In a 10, 93 through 8 in the fifth. Good really pin. use a mark. Yeah, good pin, though. He's only left four, five pins standing this string. He's up 37 so far. So far. So if he can 10 out, he still forces the end to, to, to put one mark, one mark on, the board. on the board. He can, he can, he can, he can put another one up, and he's really going to have the pressure on going into these last five. Off the left, four, bundle of six. Yeah, good pinning will put, will put, uh, put Fernando's target in the 50s. Then in the pocket, oh, wow. they discount to five and ten. At least one here, at least. Could use a mark in the, would love that mark in the ten. Yep. In these situations, in the playoffs. We've got 102 to 9. So at this point, provided Danny at bare minimum pins out, Fernando's going to need a mark. Danny, Danny gets a mark that will force Fernando to throw a couple of them. In the park, it's oh, ball. Six pin wiggle wouldn't go. That would have been huge. I don't, I don't want to say this too loud, but this is the single. He's missed three times already for spares in this match. So see how you get it here. He's, Make it he's not mic up you though. For spare, this is ouch. As I was gonna say, and that would not set up to help him out at all. Those ones if you don't win, you go back and pick this up. Paul Green special, not a good time for that. Yeah, but and then one twelve. You'll be seeing you'll be seeing that six pin in his his sleep tonight if he loses this match. So Justin, give us the update here with five blocks to go in the match. Championship Saturday. So Danny finishes at 548. Fernando needs 56 pins in the second half to tie and 57 to win. He will need a mark. He had 41 through 5 in the second string and an 85 second half in that second string. Play with 126. He was down double digits to our ground the conference finals. He was down with three box to win the match against Justin Lonnie's in the conference finals, a double strike in the eighth and ninth box to win it. Yep. Neutral site, Justin Waters, Matt Susie next, Pro Division Finals. China, thin hit, crosses over at six, seven, the Susie special with Wood to help at five, seven, ten. You made one of these earlier for a spare with one piece of wood. How are you playing this, Justin? I think you gotta go with five. It's getting enough of an angle, I think. Anything right side of the red line. This is for a spare. No. Oh, and not, not that away. He needs at least one mark. Yeah. 
eight field goal, 59 through six in the final string of the match. It's going to be a tie, a one string roll up. He has not pinned well this string at all. He's not doing himself any favors. That, 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 that miss there was big. Because now he, while he doesn't want to one mark, he's going to have to put eight, nine, or ten on and put himself in a good spot. So it could be, it could be a two mark situation now if you're missing those two pins. And Danny's mark and the six spots could be the could end up being the difference. In the puck of a strike nine. Same spot for a spare, the five pin, the king pin. What a ball that was. Smith's three already today. Can make this one. Use the wood, no. Yeah, he yanked that left. Missed opportunity. Needs a mark to win or tie. Offense special, missed the second, make the third. All right, it's 69 through seven. Three bucks to go. Right. Just an update in the score. All right, so he's at, so he needs 38 to tie, 39 to win. His last three boxes. The number six seed, Danny Finn. Number two seed, Danny Gachano. The Boston box in the semifinal match, he needed a mark and he put a double on it. So he's, he's not rattled yet. He, the, the pressure's on, but I think he's still comfortable in this spot regardless. So. Yeah, the, yeah, there's a big difference between bowling at home and bowling at a neutral site. Both right, one, four, seven, nine, and ten, two pieces of wood. Justin, how are you playing the shot? Good ball in the shot. Way up top on the head pitch. Got to hit that. Got to go really high up on that wood and drive it back. He's got some generous bounce backs for spares. Use one here. Let's go! We're going, guys! Six, ten, the eight. Here we go again! Here we go down the stretch. That is one heck of a shot. Seventy-nine there, the ball clutch, through eight. That moment. is a big shot. He needs eight at least. Nine would be huge. Right. Anything, anything less, he's going to have to mark again. Championship set in conference finals. Larry, not anymore. The four horsemen mark. The one, three, six, and ten. He needs another mark. Eighty-five to eight. But this is this is set up favorably. He's got he's got good wood there. He's Twenty-three here in the last two. For two in a row. Let's go! He's got it! Big shot today! Just like the conference set final. Two big marks. 95 of the ball through nine. He needs, One he box needs, to go. If he needs 13 pins. If he gets a seven, if he, if he drops seven here, it's over. For the championship. He's got it. Eight. Another big finish. Three matches in a row coming down double digits or down in the fifth spring winning. Unbelievable. It's eight, nine, finish. and ten, man. Eight, nine, and ten. That's match. phenomenal. 103 through nine. We'll talk to the bowlers before we sign off for our next match. Eight box ends up with a 111. And what a match! He wins at 552, a 540, a four pin win. Banana Gatroner is your ACST Semi Pro Division Championship winner. What a match. Let's good luck to the guys. <laughs> Trophy presentation to come. What a match. Does Danny want to talk? Let's talk to Danny Finn first. Give it up for Danny Finn. Good job, Danny. Great job, man. Awesome. I'm glad you had it there. Yeah, that was a huge clutch shot he made. You made clutch shots against Jordan Britain in the conference finals? Yeah. Uh, 
a number six heat, unlikely finish for you. Yeah. You're right. You almost had it. No, I'm really proud of Fernando. That was a great game either way. Uh, it went down to the wire. Those are fun matches. Even when with Jordan, we talked about it being a fun match. This was a fun one as well. I'm really proud of Fernando. Yeah. So. Great job over the East. Yeah. We have 28 teams, I believe, in Maine right now. I, I heard last night. Oh, that's awesome. So <laughs> they're working on 32 up there. So That'd great job. I want to change up. Tell the fans about the outrun on the Bears September 17th. Uh, so we have an outrun on the Bears uh, September 17th. That one's scratch. We're looking to get uh, guaranteed 2000 Well, we're not looking. We're guaranteeing $2,000 to the top prize. We're hoping to get it to 2500 uh, we have a wait list going right now, but if you want to get in, uh, sign up, because people always drop it. Thank you. Your thoughts on the match against Fernando Gachana? Uh, uh, early on, he looked real confident. He throws such an explosive ball. Even when he misses, it gets breaks, and then any opportunity he had, he really capitalized on, which that's how you win the match. So, it was, it was a good great run as number 60. Congratulations. Uh, a great season. Thank great job so on the ACS team. I appreciate it. Thank you. And now, with the championship presentation, Justin Scally will present the championship trophy to Fernando Cachana. Go, Justin. Fernando Cachana, your 2022 ACST championship winner. Fernando, for the third match, you, know, you were down, and you came back big again, the eighth and ninth box again. I gotta stop doing that. It's tiring. You're gonna give me a stroke one of these days. <laughs> I might have one now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was great. Uh, you challenged me all the way through. I mean, just the same way, I got to challenge him back. So we did. I did fight. I should have had a couple, but earlier, but I was way off. So I had to focus on one ball and make sure I get it. In that second string, you had a 41 half. You were muttering to yourself, really upset oh, yeah. with yourself. Yeah. Your sister calmed you down a little bit. Then you had an 85 half and kind of turned it back in your direction. Oh, she helps sometimes. <laughs> Whatever she said, I don't know. <laughs> I just went for it. <laughs> now, what was your mindset? You, you know, knowing you needed two more. After you got that four horseman spare fill, you needed eight at least or nine. You need another one. What was going through your mind oh, man, just to stay focused? There just, just get it in there and, and hope, hope I get it. But a couple of times, <laughs> they're off, but they were great at the end right there. I mean, that's all I could do is throw the ball in there and hope for the best. Can you give me a three-letter word to describe one of the ACST semi-pro division finals? Wow, baby! <laughs> Justin Scott, the presentation. Congratulations. Good job. <laughs> Fernando, con congratulations. Hell of a year. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now you can afford to buy a WOW shirt <laughs> for $10 to Kenneth Fisher Cancer, okay? Congratulations. Well, thank you. Job well done. Thank you. All right, and that is it for now. For, for Paul Grant, Jordan Britt, and Bob Lee, I'm Justin Scally saying, saying so long for now. The, the uh, pro, pro Division Finals coming up shortly.